uh, Mr. Curti, welcome. Thank you so much for, for coming on the programme. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Good morning. Let me deal with that last point made by Gabriel Escobar with you first. He wants you to withdraw the people that are now presiding over those northern municipalities, the people that were imposed in the last week. What do you say? Uh, in these um, three municipalities, Leposavich, Zubin Potok and Zvechan, uh, we have three uh, municipal buildings, public, official, and if not mayors, who should be in there? And uh, if these bil buildings are not for mayors, for whom they are supposed to serve? Uh, mayors are at their office, and this is how it should be and stay. Those buildings are assets of the Republic of Kosovo. There used to be parallel structures of Serbia, but uh, those are illegal structures in the payroll of Belgrade who want to destabilize our country uh, within the idea of Belgrade for creation of Serbian world, where uh, territorial ethno-nationalism is the main doctrine. We oppose to that. We want a democratic republic, and in these buildings, we could reduce our police forces. Mm. But first, the violent mob, which injured and wounded our policemen, journalists, and NATO soldiers, have to go either back to Serbia or in prison. That is not the language of a man who sounds as if he's prepared to compromise. I cannot uh, compromise with a democratic republic, uh, being prime minister of the most democratic country in Western Balkans, six with the most professional police, who is Western oriented and also Western trained. President Vucic, with whom I engage in talks, mm. is an autocrat. Serbia does not allow Serbs in Kosovo to have more than one party. Serbs in Kosovo are 4% of the population, Albanians are 93% of the population, and we have other minorities which are being neglected by international community, Roma, Ashkali, Egyptian, Bosniak, Turks, and Gorani. And I work with them likewise. So 4% of the population in Kosovo, they run 10 out of 38 municipalities, they have 10 reserved seats in our parliament, and mandatory for every government is to have a Serbian minister. Right. I have a Serbian minister, Nenad Rašić, who is not in party of uh, Aleksandar Vucic, and he is the most hated person in Serbia. But, but those, Serbia does not tolerate political pluralism. But those people who are living in the north, who are more uh, Serb than certainly any in, in the rest of the country, and you, you said 4%, I said 6%, Let, let's not argue about, about the figure. We accept it's a small minority. But they don't feel sufficiently a part of the country that they currently live in to participate in local elections. Now, you want to hold elections again. Why would they vote this time when they didn't last time? On 5th of November last year, collectively, four mayors in the north resigned in order to render our system dysfunctional. Almost 500 policemen resigned as well. These have been replaced. I acknowledge that we have weak legitimacy for the elected mayors because there was low turnout. But the others have no legitimacy at all. In the Republic of Kosovo, power is obtained only through elections. That's why I am ready to listen for proposals for early elections after we put rule of law in place. But when we heard Mr. Jakšić speaking previously, he was advocating for partitioning of Kosovo. Yes, he was, and, and I wanted that, to raise that with that, you, but, that but can is, I... That is not possible. You know, I'm not going to allow somebody to divide and partition our democratic republic. Uh, I, indeed, that is exactly what Mr Yaksic said, and he levelled various other accusations in your, in your direction as well, which, which to some extent you've dealt with in, in previous answers. But you are now under greater pressure, would you acknowledge, from the international community, from the European Union, from the Americans, we heard Mr Escobar, people who in the past have been very supportive of the independence of Kosovo, who are now questioning what you're doing and what you're saying. Does that not worry you? Of course, we consider United States of America, European Union, United Kingdom, Democratic West, our indispensable ally, partner and friend, and we owe so much to 
all of them for our liberation and independence, for democracy and development, but also for helping us to provide better security and defense for our country. However, we cannot surrender our democratic republic to this fascist militia, which is being paid by an autocrat in Belgrade, who used to be propaganda minister of Slobodan Milosevic. They do not distance themselves from the past, Milosevic. They do not distance themselves from the present, despotic President Putin. Serbia is the only country in Europe which did not put sanctions to Moscow, to Russian Federation. And now they want to be compensated territorially in Kosovo for the losses caused by regime of Milosevic 25 years ago when he started the genocidal campaign that NATO intervention had to stop. Okay. So this situation is pretty clear. Some could try to complicate it, but it's pretty simple and clear, I must be honest about this. Well, uh, I'm very grateful to you for coming on and responding to the other voices that we included. Um, the Prime Minister of Kosovo, Albin Kurti, uh, which gives me three or four minutes to uh, weigh all of that up with uh, Timothy and Noga, it's the second time during the programme. I'm conscious that you've heard various different viewpoints and have sat back and listened, and, and now I ask you to assess. Um, Timothy, where do we go from here, do you think? So I've actually spent uh, a fair amount of time in Kosovo, which is a rather beautiful corner of Europe. Uh, indeed, I drove in in a battered old Lada <laughs> Jeep just after that moment in 1999, which the Albanian Prime Minister rightly described as liberation. One of the jokes at the time was that the um, capital of Kosovo, Pristina, was going to be renamed. It was going to be called Belfast. Um, <laughs> and, what you know, if you listen to Prime Minister Kurti and Mr. Yakshic, or indeed President Vucic, it's like listening to unionists and Republicans in Northern Ireland.